You are looking at a live picture from our Liberty University sky cam in beautiful Lynchburg and the clouds are here and the clouds are here to stay for what will likely be an extended period of time. Clouds will be around tonight. They will be around tomorrow and with a chance for rain will go up later tonight into at least the first part of tomorrow as well. We need the rain, so that's a good thing. Let's uh, show you what the radar picture looks like and we do have a few little itty bitty sprinkles maybe even a shower or two out across parts of the New River Valley and Mountain Empire. Again, very light near Elk Creek, Hillsville, areas near Max Meadows up north into areas, say, near Pembroke in Giles County. Few sprinkles are all around. Certainly nothing like they're dealing with near Florida and also into coastal sections of North and South Carolina. That is where we have a coastal low, which could turn tropical, could be a tropical storm here over the next 12 hours or so. We'll talk more about that here in a second. And of course, this need no introduction. This is Tropical Storm Harvey continuing to just batter the coastline of Texas and now Louisiana. Let's uh, come back closer to home here and show you what we're looking at for the day tomorrow. Highs around 69 and with a tropical system in close proximity to us tomorrow, the winds are going to be on the increase. It might actually be breezy at times for us tomorrow into the day on Wednesday. Wednesday, we probably will break out in a little more sun. That's why I'm upping the high a little bit and we're looking at temperatures tomorrow, upper 60s on Wednesday, lower 80s. So again, the mercury goes up a little bit on Wednesday. Future tracker showing that by 11, the chance for a little bit of rain will go up for us. We are looking at the best chance for rain with this next storm system lying from around 4 a.m. on Tuesday through around maybe 3 p.m. on Tuesday. It will likely be a pretty wet commute for you in the morning on Tuesday. Have your umbrella or poncho ready. You'll be glad you did, even at lunchtime. There will be some rain around and the rain could fall moderate to heavily in a uh, few spots and then by around say four or five o'clock tomorrow afternoon the uh, chance for rain will start to diminish as most of the rain will be carried into central and eastern parts of the commonwealth tomorrow night maybe a few leftover little sprinkles otherwise we're mostly cloudy tomorrow night then on wednesday looks like we may see a few breaks of sunshine otherwise there's still that chance for a few showers even a stray storm wednesday afternoon especially in areas along and west of the parkway but again wednesday should see a little more sunshine than what we have out there tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're not going to see any sun. I think it's overcast all day. Here's the latest on potential tropical cyclone number 10. It is situated only 40 miles south of Charleston with winds of 40 miles per hour. It will likely become a name storm at some point in time, either later tonight or tomorrow. When it does, it will be called Tropical Storm Irma, I-R-M-A. It will go through, I think, coastal sections of North Carolina, then head out to sea where it will turn into a remnant low as we head into perhaps the uh, latter part of the work week. It could actually strengthen a little bit as it moves offshore of North Carolina, but it's not going to impact any more land masses, just it's going to obviously be a factor for uh, shipping interests that move through the Atlantic. Future tracker showing that this thing is going to batter. It looks like the North Carolina coastline with some rain and wind. Again, winds perhaps over 50 miles per hour uh, possible, say along Cape Hatteras. Several inches of rain possible as well before this thing starts to move offshore. Could throw a little bit of moisture in our direction as we head into the day tomorrow, but uh, most of the rain that we see tonight into tomorrow will be with a storm system that's coming at us from the west. 63 in Hot Springs, 74 in Lynch. 68 in Withville. For tonight, rain showers develop. We're pretty cloudy overnight. Lows tonight in the 50s and low to mid 60s. Tomorrow, showers taper off. We're cool with highs only in the 60s and lower 70s. Your extended forecast 81 on Wednesday, 84 Thursday. So the mercury does go up midweek, only to fall a little bit on Friday with highs around 78. We should only have a minimal chance for a stray shower or thunder shower Thursday and Friday with the chance for rain going up again Saturday, Sunday into Labor Day. Not a washout this holiday weekend, but I also have your umbrella handy as we could be dealing with some remnant moisture from Tropical Storm Harvey at that point.